Ooh, yeah, this is definitely this is top sixteen, right? Yeah, I'll skip a couple of these in top sixteen, but for the most part, I want to see a couple of them. So you got Fergus versus Fuko. Was it like Fuko la Muerte? All right, versus Jack. Yeah, Fuko la Muerte. Oof. Oh my God! What is this? What is happening? All right, so we start round start very good. Gets the whiff punish with the hug, right? Small stage, so able to get the wall pretty easy. Goes for the tech trap here, and then <laughs> I didn't even know he had like some sort of delay up four three, but he does, I guess. Oh my God! Uh. Yeah, Fergus does need to slow down. This was a great sequence, though. So after he gets that hop kick, right? Tries to go for the whiff punish. Nice knockdown. And the main thing, this is the really thing I think that uh, that Muerte realized at this point is that... So we got here. Gets the knockdown, goes for the Oki here, and then goes for this Ford 4 3 afterwards. Ex expecting that you might ex uh, think that the Jack player, the Fuko, might wants to step left in this direction, right? He wants to step that way. And that's understandable. So it's understandable that he's, he wants to step left uh, in that direction. But so he goes for the Ford 4 3. After all of this. Fuko decides that he's just going to move. And this is not a bad idea because, you know, you're not going to expect this. Uh, you're not going to expect the Asuka player to, like, just constantly throw out homing moves. So so as long as that you don't expect him to throw out a lot of homing moves, that this isn't a terrible idea. So he steps off the wall. And that was a big, uh, this was a big win for him, right? You're a jack player. You step off the wall from a Kazumi. That's or not a Kazumi, a uh, an Oscar. That's a pretty big win. That's a pretty big win, in my opinion. Oscar does a lot of damage on the wall, and she's enraged too. Remember what we were talking about before uh, in previous streams, where you got to think about what the win condition is for a player or for a, a character at any given moment. When he has rage drive like that, you expect him to go for a launch, especially on the wall. That's just going to mean so much more. This is great, though. So he gets the the punish with the up four two. I think that's what it is. Goes for the Oki on the get up blow. It doesn't work out for him. <laughs> two one twelve. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that new... Okay, so this new string right here, you'll see it from a lot of Kazumi players. And the reason why is because this string right here, when you get to the elbow, the elbow got buffed so that the second hit now confirms into the third hit naturally. So the first one is a counter hit setup. The second one is to hit confirm. And if he gets the second hit, then he goes... He rocks into the third one. Yeah, it takes a round back. That's what he needs. Fergus is very good at the, on the wall. Oh, man. That sucked. Felt like that should have been a counter hit launch, right? Man, Fergus is looking for that big launch right here, right? It's not... Nice. Gets the down two. Yeah, out of crouch. <laughs> Oof. This character is so scary when she dashes at you because she has so many ways to, like, really make you hurt now. Oi. Oh, my God. He just got mauled. Look how much damage he took on the ground. Jabs him out. Uh, 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 look at that. Look at all the damage he took on the floor. Ugh. Hey, Prograph, how's it going, man? 
Nice block. Hug. Dun dun dun. Goes for the good dam damage combo. Good lord. Oi, that was a very minimal punish, but it worked out afterwards. Uh, not a good round for Fergus. Takes a breather here. Anna? Am I going to get to watch some Anna? I didn't actually expect this. Oh. I was like, oh shit. I'm going to get to learn some Anna. I'm pretty happy. Ah. Uh. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate, to say the least. It is unfortunate, but I kind of realize that I probably have to. I have to move away from. I have to move away from Anna pretty soon. Probably, I probably have to uh, after I do. Um, after I do match analysis for this and uh, Seam, I kind of want to switch to Learning Miguel. <laughs> it's unfortunate because I remember correctly. I don't think Anna gets played a lot at this tournament. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think so either. Well, let me reset this. It's unfortunate. I think Anna is really fun to play. She's definitely not me. She's not a me character, which is really hard <laughs> for me to play. Nice counter hit combo. I thought so. Uh, so, OK. It must be really hard or something, because I thought that this got buffed so that you could do down four two afterwards. But I guess you're in crouch state. So it'd be like a crouch cancel down four two. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, why does he do so much damage? <gasps> Is he dead? Oh my god. Uh. Oi. <laughs> Oi, that's rough. Nice punish. Nice sequence here. You learn a lot from that sequence, in my opinion. I think you learn that, like, really, uh, Fuko is a real, a real big button presser. If he's going to start s keep swinging into little stuff. Yeah, he's a lot. He presses buttons with Jack. You need to sidestep cancel it? That's whack. Oh, did he step? Okay, no. All right, easy punish. I thought he's maybe sidestep two. Do you want to get hit by it? Wrist Chuck. Really, Fergus is playing really well around this, uh, the full crouch down 4 2, the swipe. Launch. Uh, uh, uh. Doesn't quite take him to the wall. You see right here, this is really good from Fuko, although I think the stream bugs out. Yeah. That he's stepping to the wall. He wants to control the space first. Oh, wow. He's looking for the big Oki read here. If got him to press a button, this would have kicked him up onto the wall. Ooh, thankfully just outside of rage. Oh, counter hit. There you go. Wait, Fergus has mixed up his timing just a little bit. See? Like before, before this can can, he wouldn't have pressed a button afterwards. Now he's looking for something. He's mixed up his timing very, very well. Oi! Good response. Yeah, look at these. Look at this. And this is a good adjustment action for Fuko. We were talking. To, we were just saying a second ago, right? Fuko likes to press a lot of buttons. I was like, all right, Fuko likes to press a lot of buttons. So why don't I do stuff and try to get him to bait into this, uh, into running into one of my hits. And so Fuko's actually been doing really well at mixing up the times that he starts to press buttons. So in dashes in. Look at this. This was a crazy, crazy bait. Look at this bait. Right? One plus two, back three. But what he does before that is you can see that he does like a little 
ba- dash back and forth enemy. Like he just dashes forward and blocks. That's what I mean. Watch. Oi! Gets the hug. Look at the patience here. So he uses the rage drive early. He wants to take the he wants to take the uh, take the turn. I don't blame him. He's this low on health, right? And the thing is that if if uh, Oscar gets a counter hit, that's like this much chunk, right? It's a good amount of damage. Two waits a little bit this time. So you see right here, he goes for the rage drive. Waits a little bit before going for the can cans launch. Fuku gets hit, but it's just can cans, right? It's not pressing any buttons, so that's the big deal. Looking for this counter hit, looking for this counter hit. It doesn't happen. Down back two, unfortunately, whiffs. Oh, no. Is this it? Okay, gets the low. Oh, he slapped some Jesus in him. Nope, whiff punish. Was looking for it. Seed planner is in rage. Oh no, counter hit. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's it. Look at the dash. Look at him dash first. Dash one plus two. And then he goes for the can cans earlier this time. All of the setup before. This was so impressive for Fergus. Ugh. So impressive from Fergus. He used every other setup for his can cans. The time where he did it immediately, the time where he waited in order to get that one set up. That was really impressive. That's a that's a good recognition from like your sort of positioning in the in the match because you have to recognize that one. I have to use the the can cans that aren't working in order to get them to work, and then two, uh, it's a lot of just being like, all right, I got to go for something that he's not going to expect, and the thing he definitely didn't expect is just doing it again. Man, big sigh of relief on Sook. Uh, you know, I think I can agree with that to some extent, right? I can agree with him liking Sook because it's a small stage. Asuka does very well. Her wall carry isn't fantastic. So on this stage, it's it's mitigated just a little bit. Uh, and as long as she can keep him on the wall, she can win. Haven't seen a lot of 4-4-3 from Fergus. Now that I think about it. 4-4-3 is so good. They gave her a mid-mock kick. They gave her a mid-mock kick. No one like I watch True play. True just uses that shit all the time because it gets her it hooks her up for damage. Damn, speed kicks off out of the tournament off stream. That's wild. Man, he just goes for another set of can cans. This is all the thing. All of this is working. Like these can cans and stuff. Thing is like. It's none of it is crazy, right? Like, look at all these situations. What does this situation look like, right? He goes for the can crans out of the block string or out of the string, and then he goes for the can cans again. And it's like, why would this work? This has no reason to work, except for the fact that he's doing really well on mixing up his timings. He's doing he's going back and forth and sometimes staying in the same spot. And this make it really difficult for Fuko to sort of get a read on what he wants to do, right? Look at this. All of these were different timing situations. Those were moments before where he would stay safe. Nice. Big launch. He tried to get the whiff punch with the Tooth Fairy. I don't blame him. Yeah, that was crazy. Look at this shit. Look how close this back... Look at how close the back 3-2-2 was. That was crazy. I would have not expected that one bit a lot of experience like those moments are only there's those moments are only moments you can learn by playing a lot 
This is why people say when you're when you're learning Tekken that you need a minimum of two years to start being good. Because those little experiences, like moments mean everything. That's like the difference between you getting a wall combo or you dropping uh Oki. Dude. So one plus two, or it's one plus two, right? I'm pretty sure this is one plus two. Dash up, goes for the fake flash thing, and then goes for the can cans afterwards. Already ducking. He's ready for this shit. There you go. Now using his timing against him. Oh! <laughs> That was crazy. I was trying to reset it because I was like, oh, man, did my game or did uh, Twitch lag a second? No, it was the stream from the beginning. Oy. I can't believe you pressed a button in that situation. What? Oh, look how much this sucks. The second hit whiffs. <laughs> that mega sucks. Trade. Oh, counter hit. This is not good. Is he dead? I think he's dead. High spot? No. He gets a dude. Fergus gets up mad quick. Look at this. This dude bolts out of his seat. Thank you. See you later. Oh, my God. I never want to see this dude ever again. This guy was very good. Very Fuko was was a very good player.